this is a 430D, totally standard pretty much at the minute. We've just done the brakes and calipers, which you'll see in a moment on the video after this. This is in for uh, an M Performance kit, so we're doing the M Performance front end. We've got the M Performance carbon skirts, carbon mirrors, rear diffuser, which is also carbon. It's gonna have the exhaust tips changed on it. We're wrapping the roof at the moment, which again, I know I keep saying to you, I don't like doing wrapping, but this is for a friend. So we're gonna be wrapping the roof in carbon fiber in a moment. New aerial that's carbon fiber, loads of carbon fiber interior parts. The bumpers, as you can see, we've actually removed and taken them uh, to Tommy Bentley at Bentley Autos around the corner. He's gonna repaint those for us at the minute because they both uh, had a bit of a knock on them and it's kind of marked them a little bit. Uh, the wheels are also off because they're going away for a full refurb. So this car's having a, quite a bit of a transformation. Um, possibly going to be lowered, possibly going to be remapped at some point as well, but that's not something we're going to be getting on with. So what we're currently on with is trying to remove the antenna from this 435. And the reason we need to do that is there's a new one going on and we're also going to be wrapping the whole roof, so I can't do it with this on. Now the problem we've got is, as you can see here, it doesn't matter what fishing wire I use, even the uh, barbed wire, it physically won't go through. So we're having to mask the roof to make sure we don't put any marks in it whatsoever. And we're having to use a scalpel to go all the way through, which is something I don't particularly like doing. But it is starting, as you can see there, to actually come up. So hopefully in about 20 minutes, we'll have the antenna off and we can start the vinyl. So we've managed to get the aerial off. It's now on with the actual vinyl wrap itself. So what we're gonna do is put the magnet tools on, cut this to the surface shape we need it to be. And then I'm going to attempt to wrap because it's not the sort of thing that I tend to do. Uh, even I seem to do it a lot, so let's see how this comes out. So morning again guys, now we're literally on with the detailing aspects on this 430, so the bumpers are probably due back to us today. Um, the front and rear bumpers, like I said, have gone off for repaint. We've gone to fix the rear, uh, sorry, the front splitter on there. We've done the brake calipers, as we mentioned. We managed to wrap the roof yesterday. I've got that pretty much perfect. I'm gonna check it over later on just to make sure there's not the other little pin prick on there. The side vents we've actually done in carbon as well. Uh, and I've gotta be honest, this carbon, it is Chinese carbon. It's really tricky to work with. It's not the easiest thing in the world, but it is by far the closest thing to real carbon and I've seen a lot of wrappers and a lot of wrapping companies doing carbon roofs and various other things recently and do you know what, they look crap. I'm not saying the work is, but the actual vinyl we're using honestly is shocking and it doesn't look like carbon and it's great that you know they're putting it on and trying to change the look of the car but when you've got carbon parts like this has got genuine mirrors, carbon rear duct fin spoil be fitted, carbon front splitter, the carbon has to look the part and if it doesn't it's absolutely pointless because you can tell straight away that it doesn't, it's not carbon so this is seriously seriously close we actually put a strip over the mirror yesterday and the weave is almost identical and it actually matches against it if anything the vinyl's a little bit glossier so when we buff these up and put a coating on them Hopefully they'll actually have the identical match. I'm gonna get a video of the roof shortly. I can't at the minute because the wheels are still off for repair and the car's right up in the air. But I'm gonna get on with the detailing aspect. Get some of these bigger scratches as I don't know if you can see. I'll try and get it on video. It is only a single day detail on this. It's only kind of a spruce up, but I'll try and get some of the marks in and then we'll get a proper video of it once it's done. So we've just got the front bumper back. It's now the hard part, obviously getting this back on. Uh, there's about 150 volts that I've got to find. Different chassis bits underneath, side mounts. I've done the top part. We need to rebond the badge, to put the grills in, but I need to steam clean all this uh, just to get the front of it right. The grills here are quite dirty as well, so we're gonna try and clean them up before it goes. And it is literally just now going through the actual bag of parts that we've labelled for each corner and making sure every single bolt is actually in there and there is a hell of a lot for the front. The rear, there isn't actually that many, it's not that bad, it's, but the front is the big one. So once this is on, we should be able to crack on with the rear, get the car back down, get the side skirts on and it's pretty much ready to give a kind of sort of finish over uh, and actually get back on the road. 
So guys, we're on Friday, the car's now finished. I'm gonna show you some little bits of it. I still need to take it outside and clean the wheels because they've been sent off uh, for a refurb and they have got a lot of tire soap on them and I'm not gonna just wipe them in here. They need a bit of a jet wash and brush and some of our white stance on there to get them clean. So I'm gonna take it outside in a minute and do the wheels kind of last, ready for the customer to pick up. But I'm gonna show you the rest of the car now. And as you can see, we've got the carbon roof on there and this wrap honestly does look like real carbon like I said so if you look at this and then obviously look at the mirrors and also the sides these were actually wrapped here and you can see that they're all the same sort of finish carbon spoiler on the back carbon rear diffuser the bumpers are back on I'm going to do a bit of coding on it now and make sure the error codes are gone from the bumpers being off they've been put back on obviously parking sensors are put back in and I'm going to get this montage over to you now so here you go 